What's up, Doc? Here's a movie about killer rabbits. That's right, killer rabbits. It starts out with a group of scientists trying to control an overpopulation of ordinary rabbits by injecting them with a serum to stop them from breeding. Instead, it turns them into giant size and also makes them carnivorous. The plot seems like something that would have been done in the 50s, but I guess the 50s already did every kind of giant insect and animal already. The 70s had nothing left. So, rabbits. That's the last resort. You'd think this would be some kind of spoof of the 50s by using an animal that's so cute and non-terrifying, but it plays out like a straight horror movie and with well-known actors like Janet Leigh and DeForest Kelly, it makes you wonder, why did they agree to do this? Funny to think that the original posters and trailers never showed what kind of monster it is. Audiences were meant to be surprised, although anybody who knew the Latin word for rabbit would have known. I suppose this kind of concept worked all right with The Birds, one of the famous early examples of a serious film where nature attacks. Even then, I thought it was a bit silly, but cute bunnies grown to giant size, that's about as far as you can take it. Nobody's afraid of bunnies. I have to say, all the shots of the bunnies stampeding together has made a lasting impression on me. Look at that. That's all you need. It's a stampede of killer rabbits. They go as far as possible to make these rabbits look ominous. They also use growling sounds to emphasize their ferociousness. Despite all that, they're still just plain cute little rabbits. Maybe if they would have made some kind of puppet or stop motion creature, like if the rabbits were to mutate into some kind of supernatural species, that could have been more monstrous and terrifying, but instead it's just these oblivious rabbit actors that clearly have no idea what's going on. Considering how challenging of an idea that is to pull off, I'd say they did as good a job as possible. Remember, this is long before CGI. They had to build a miniature town, both exteriors and interiors, and let the rabbits trample around through them. Sometimes it's real rabbits, other times it seems like puppets or costumes. Basically what I'm saying is the practical effects are well done, but it's the concept that is just too fucking silly. The first time I saw this movie was on TNT's Monster Vision in 93, when Penn and Teller were hosting. They did a funny sketch where they demonstrated how the effects were done by constructing a fake little town and unleashing a rabbit on it. I remember Penn screaming and overreacting, taking it completely over the top. It was hilarious and I wish I had my VCR recording, because in over 20 years, I've never seen it again. While other tapings of the Penn and Teller Monster Vision broadcasts have shown up, that particular one and several others may be forever lost in time. The movie itself was actually quite rare. Aside from seldom broadcasts on Turner Networks, it was never released on home video of any kind until 2005. I had almost wondered if I had imagined it. Seeing it a second time after all these years is a real trip and I've forgotten how serious the movie takes itself. As a kid, I didn't question it. I just accepted it. I knew that in the world of monster movies, there can exist any kind of giant killer animal, so it didn't faze me. Believe it or not, as a kid, I actually thought this movie was quite suspenseful and scary. Now, I laugh at it like everyone else, but there was a time when at least one person saw this film in the right state of mind, and that was me. I guess you can say, I found it to be hair-raising. 